Now, let's talk a little bit about use cases. How would I apply this? So, I like to think of our technology as basically extending the world of GPS indoors. So, you think about how you use your GPS systems today to find, find your way to places or how you navigate. You can find people, places, you know, whether it's a retail store or it's a, um, uh, you know, some place you're trying to go to an airport or other thing on a map. Well, if you could extend that capability indoors and be able to find things in malls, in retail establishments, you want to go to a particular aisle in a grocery store, a particular end cap that was being uh, advertised, uh, then this system could be used to track your movements, the movement of a grocery cart, uh, any, any number of other things. There are lots of geofencing applications where this makes a lot of sense. So, for example, what people are doing today with iBeacons could be done better with this technology because it's accurate and it actually gives you location, not just proximity, which is really what the Bluetooth-enabled uh, technologies do. We're much more accurate than Wi-Fi. Uh, they can do three to five meters on a good day versus our you know, 10 to 20 centimeter kind of accuracy. So it's a whole new paradigm in terms of micro-location which is what, what we like to describe the technology as. Um, it's patented technology, where, by the way, DecoWave is a uh, small company from Ireland, startup. Um, we're fabulous, so we're a chip company, but we rely on other people to actually build our stuff. And then we sell through distribution um, with uh, partners like Symmetry to a broad uh, base of customers all over the world. And uh, this, we're having great success. The kits are selling like uh, wildfire, and we're having a, a, a great time engaging customers on all kinds of applications and use cases. I mentioned a couple. We've got sporting applications. Think about tracking players on a playing field. Think about uh, track and field. Think about sports cars. Anything that's moving that you want to keep track of. Uh, there's applications in the retail space for transactions. It's a secure uh, kind of environment where you actually not only know that somebody's present, but they're, they're very close physically. Sort of like what you see used uh, with NFC today. The other applications that are real uh, popular are things like in agriculture. You've got customers tagging cows and dairies and monitoring the movements of those cows around uh, the, the dairy to make sure they're doing the, engaging in the kind of behaviors that cows normally do when they're healthy and happy and producing lots of milk. So uh, that's another good use case. Geofencing, you may want to, uh, today you've got a wire in a yard and you want to uh, keep your dog within the bounds of your yard. Well, what if you could take that idea indoors and keep him out of certain rooms or off the furniture or things like that using a similar technology. He's wearing something on a collar and you basically train him to behave the way you want him to. Uh, tracking babies in hospitals. You, you put one of these devices on the wrist of a newborn and now you can associate that baby with its mother and only its mother. You can keep track of it in the ward, know when it's moved uh, to and from the, the rooms to the, to the, uh, the, the central area where the babies uh, are, are, made, are kept and uh, treatments, things like that. Alzheimer's patients, there's a problem with what they call uh, wander care, W-A-N-D-E-R, where people have a tendency to wander away. And uh, this helps you track their movements, track objects, track, track things that they tend to leave behind as they move about the facility. So uh, you think about it, anything that involves uh, find my stuff, for example. I, I've lost my purse, I misplaced it, key ring. Uh, it could be something like your wallet or any number of objects in your home that you could uh, want to track and, and use this sort of technology to, to, to find. So just there's some other use cases and ideas that are pretty popular as well. We expect to be ultimately um, have this technology embedded within phones and other mobile devices, wearables. Uh, there will be infrastructure built to support it, similar to what you see now with wireless infrastructure in buildings and malls and even in outdoor spaces. So it's, it's going to evolve along the same lines that GPS has evolved for doing the, the kind of micro-location that people like to do. Seven, any, any other thoughts or comments? Thank you very much. All right.